I've said it, I'll slogan it, I'll put it on a t-shirt, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't control who knocks on the door, but I can control who comes in. So I've got thoughts all day long. Knock, 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 knock. Open it up. Well, I don't know you, close. And then sometimes you turn around and they're on your sofa. What are you doing in here? Uh, you say, man, that's offensive. The Bible is offensive. They look at you and they say, this is hate speech. But the Bible says, how shall they hear without a preacher? The gospel is offensive to people who don't want to hear it. And this one guy, I gave him a track, big old dumpy fella. You say, well, that's kind of rude. Hey, I don't care. He, kept, he took the gospel track and went, walked into his house. You know what I did? I picked up that track, walked up to his door, ironed it out, knocked on the door. What? I said, you're gonna regret that. Turned around and left. What are you gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything about it because he is the one who will do something about it and you're not gonna like it. God's not jumping up and down and yelling and, and waving his arms like a, a stranded man on an island saying, look at me, look at me, look at me. He's saying, I'm here, you know where to find me. Don't get bitter about life circumstances. If you're a born again child of God, he has a plan that he's working in you for you to be like Christ. But if you'll separate from the world and draw nigh to God, the picture will become clear. Or at least the peace will begin to pass all understanding. I don't wanna waste my life. My life's only got a certain amount of time and it's ticking away as we speak. At right now, my life is ticking away. I'm one, one day closer to the grave than I was yesterday. And I want my life to matter, not just for something, but for his something. The Bible says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first. And everybody's sitting around and a man was digging right there in the trash. In the, and I don't mean a dumpster, in the alley, I mean in the trash can right out front of the store and pulled out what he could find as food and put it in his mouth and ate it. Better to die and go to heaven in the circumstances of that man than it is to live in Cherry Hill and drive a, 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 a Mercedes and have a million dollars in the bank and be on your designer furniture watching your big screen large TV with all your friends over for the game and die and go to hell. It's better to be a poor man in heaven than a rich man in hell. It's Jesus and Jesus only. And a lot of people are led astray is because they don't ever develop a relationship with this in the first place. This, and not one like this, but this, the King James Bible. The King James Bible. The truth inside and out. So, you must change from not believing that Jesus is your only hope to believing that Jesus is your only hope. In order to be saved, you must undo whatever you did to be lost. Undo whatever you did to be lost. What do you do to go to hell? You do not believe on the only begotten Son of God, who is Jesus Christ. What do you do in order to have eternal life? Believe on the Son of God, and thou shalt be saved. Is Jesus not enough for you that you're so special that you've got to bring something to the table? You're not special. You can bring nothing. Hey, Lord, I, I, I put on a robe and I came out in front of a congregation and I got dunked underwater or I got poured on or sprinkled. Big whoop. You know where that water came from, right? Folks, I don't care if it came from Ice Mountain or Coligan or Aquafina. I don't care if it's a baptismal full of Fiji water. I don't care where it came from. I don't care if it's ice that melted off of glaciers and we filled our baptismal with it. It didn't do anything for you. Besides make a symbol buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. Believe, then get baptized. Believe. Believe everybody's gonna have their popcorn and soda and candy bars. I'm gonna be on trial with the dunce hat on, so to speak, blushing the whole time because I said things and did things and thought things and went places and I, that I should not have done and went and gone and said and thought. Whoo! That's not the way it works, hey man. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. That was taken care of on Calvary. How great is that? That my sins are under the blood. The Bible says, as far as the east is from the west. Now, can you tell me how far the east is from the west? You can't. Why? The east can never catch the west. As far as the east is from the west, get this, so far hath the Lord removed our sins from us. The determining factor if somebody goes to heaven is he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. If the devil can't get your soul and condemn you to hell and keep the blood of Jesus Christ from washing away your sins, the next thing he wants to do is destroy your life and destroy your testimony and destroy your family and get you to be a nothing and a nobody for the cause of Christ. Don't let him have it. The best way not to let him have it is don't let him have the mind. The best way to guard the mind is Philippians 4.8. Think on these things. 